Hello friends, this is my part 2 on my last day Istanbul. Now uh, during my stay, uh, it was for five day, uh, 6 days, 5 nights, I visited so many places but I could not, I could not go to so many other places because of time constraints. Uh, because I wanted to understand the system and it took me little time to understand the public transport system. However, I had taken a Istanbul cart uh, which is uh, uh, for 50 lira and uh, I topped it up with 100 liras so that I could use the tram, I could use the ferry, I could use the uh, 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 metros. Uh, pu public buses everything on one card you know and once your balance finishes you easily go and top it up right okay now I, I took a tour on the Bosphorus uh, it was only for 75 lira it was a good one and a half hour journey from Eminono it crossed the first bridge and up to the second bridge on the Bosphorus uh, uh, and we could see both the sides, the European side and the Asian side and it was a breathtaking views. It was so lovely that I would have loved to go again and again, again and again. But as you know, there were quite a time constraints, so I could not go for the second time. But uh, I really enjoyed my uh, ferry ride on the Bosphorus. Then visiting the all the uh, tourist attractions that also took a lot of time then of course when you're traveling with your wife you need to do shopping so i had to take her to the grand bazaar and uh, other places uh, around so that she could take, uh, do some shopping she took a lot of handbags uh, really good handbags the prices were around 500 uh, lira to 600 700 depends upon the quality but uh, she really liked it the it was a uh, second copy it was the first copy of the original but they were very good right so the shopping is also good and i don't think in pakistan at least you can find these type of bags at these prices right okay uh the food food in istanbul well uh, there's a lot of hype about the food in istanbul but uh, frankly frankly i tried a few things I went to some of the most popular places which I had heard about but I was not satisfied with the quality of food, with the quality of the taste. It was very flat taste, it was expensive, nothing would come less than 100 liras, 200 liras, 300 liras. So when you when you see the uh, price of the Adonir kebab would cost you something from 55 lira to 100 lira or even more depending upon the place but uh, i think the quality of the donor kebab also in pakistan i think we get good stuff and uh, all their other kebabs adana kebab and then they've got the lamb kebab at shahzad cat kebab and all that you know in pakistan we get a lot of good food like daga kebab gola kebab then bihari and uh, kebab fry and you know uh, uh, we get that uh, what do you call it, the kheri and all that stuff i mean in pakistan the food is damn good and it's very cheap compared to uh, istanbul so istanbul food was uh, frankly not a takeaway for me i did not enjoy it much and instead i preferred to you know go to the burger king and kfc and uh, uh, and there was another place called Simitsare that also I had heard a lot about it different type of food uh, patties and all this uh, buns and all that I had heard a lot about it but unfortunately it was not according to my taste and you know I went a couple of times tried a few things but I was not satisfied so well the take uh, food uh, is a no 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 for me you know I had difficulty but uh, we had a very good breakfast we, we if the breakfast was so filling that you know in the afternoon you do, you would just take a uh, anything from KFC or uh, uh, like a wrap or something and you know you would be done you know uh, lots of juices available buttas and 
uh, the hazelnuts and all those street food is available so when in the evening if you're walking around you can have that so i mean you you wouldn't have that desire to eat much food out here you know uh, the nightlife in istanbul is excellent uh, this was the holy month of ramzan but believe me i did not know that it was ramzan out here everything was open all the restaurants coffee shop bars were flooded with people throughout the day throughout the night people were having a lovely time and frankly speaking the places where where i was staying you know if i had stayed near the mosque you know that maybe i would be able to see a lot of people going for praying and keeping fast and opening the roza and all that but where i was staying the, the, this there was no concept like you know ramzan because everywhere uh, there was no mosque around here and uh, people were just having fun eating drinking merry making and uh, i could not find uh, i could not realize even that uh, this was the month of ramzan especially in the part where i was staying <coughs> regarding the people they are very friendly people they try to help you if you don't know the route you can ask them they will try to guide you i mean uh, there were many things told to me about the people that they are rude they don't help they don't speak english no it's nothing like that i find i found them very friendly and uh, uh, i interacted with many people they always used to try to help yes they try to make profit there is no harm in making profit everybody tries to make profit you have to bargain uh but uh maybe they must be overcharging the tourists you know for they must be having a different menu for the locals or different menu for the tourists but that's okay i mean uh, they would like to make some money out of you and uh, if you can afford it uh, you buy it if you can't afford it uh, there are many other options you can go for cheaper stuff so i i wouldn't blame anything like that you know in pakistan there is more profit taking or cheating or speaking lies but i mean here it's pretty less you know so no complaints no no complaints whatsoever with the people uh, i could not uh, go to the asian side i could not talk to a lot of turkish families i could not uh, understand their culture and all because this is basically a touristy city and uh, it is flooded with people europeans and uh, far eastern countries and in indians and pakistani i mean the, i think 90% of the people around you must be tourists or even maybe if, even if the 50% of the people are locals you wouldn't be able to differentiate because they are also fair they wear very good clothes so basically it is very very difficult to differentiate between a turkish uh, people and uh, european people or people from other countries uh, so basically uh, you don't come to you don't come to know who is who, who is a tourist who is a local but everybody looks the same you know so overall my uh, these all experiences with istanbul have been very good food is little expensive shopping is expensive hotels are expensive and paying 100 uh, dollars for the room for one night is definitely very expensive for us but even in pakistan you go to uh, some good hotel they charge you 10000 bucks 15000 bucks so when you go out to another city as a tourist definitely you have to pay more and may pay more for such a beautiful place right so guys uh, i am ending my second vlog over here maybe i will continue with uh, some more of my views in my third vlog before i leave istanbul thank you buddy